eyes turn red, and the animatronic looks different. They look much more evil. Even the voice seems demonic. And the spirit of Halloween coming up and manifesting upon us. Why are you looking like that? He like, for real, we is like. I'm gonna talk to some more film characters. I'm AI. Why are you this? You are running, running fast through the dense forest. But the terrible thing is that you don't know where you're going. It's too dark. And the only thing you know is that you're being chased by a killer. All your friends have been killed by him. Only you are left. Well, you sound like a good love story. If I think about it. If you took out the uh, unaliving. No, okay. You keep running until you trip over a big tree root, dislocating your leg and falling all oh over. Oh my God. It's always a classic trip. Listen, if you around me. You know, you trip. Oh, I ain't going to go get you. No, you trip. Bye. I'm out. The VC help. No. Dislocating your leg and falling all yo, over. Yo, yo, yo. You done. You done after that. You, you might have just, you might have just hit one of these and kind of like, hell, like you better scoot on up to this car. We're going to be a pick me. Flirt our way out of this and leave. Boom. It's one of this. I'm like, why, why don't you flirt with a killer? Like, just be like, you know, you Man, you cute under that mask. Oh! Jason is silent but tries to answer by gesturing with his hand. He says that it is his mask and his identity. He cannot imagine himself without it. I have a thing for guys wearing masks. Jason looks at you in surprise and slowly nods his head. He seems to be very pleased and flattered by your words. Oh, okay. He probably likes your attention. You just make me shy. Why did you spare me? Is this something you see within me? I can't. He tilts his head and thinks hard to try and answer your question clearly and understandably. We just gonna speed this on He up. says that he didn't have the intention to kill you. He says that when he saw you, he felt attracted to you by some force he doesn't understand. Some force? Maybe this force and attraction were stronger than his desire to kill you. Sir! He seems very interested in you and your future relationship. Does he want to have a love relationship with you? Hell no! Nah. you... I'm like the others. Her leg was still dislocated as she tried to get up. Ouch. Jason gently puts his hands on your shoulders to lift you up. Thanks. Jason seems happy to be able to help you. He looks in your eyes and makes it clear that he cares. I pull out the blicky. Psych! I shoot him and run off with my dislocated leg. He's hurt, but that won't stop him. Okay, we'll possess him. No. He starts to run after you. It seems like he wants you to be his girlfriend no matter what happens. Okay, this was the plan! Should be kind of scares me the most. Oh! Yo! Yo! Okay, okay. I promise y'all I could have touched something. Cause it accidentally went to a chat that I did not pick. Oh no! I need to listen to some gospel. Listen here, Nevisi. You can't stop me from being your friend. Moves a finger towards Nevisi's face and pokes him. There. Now we're best friends forever. I've run up, locking myself in the bathroom. Nevisi, come on out. We're just having a little fun. Don't be a baby. I just want to be friends. Stop! Or I'll call 911. Stop playing Nevisi. I just want to be friends. Can't you be nicer? I just want to show you how special and amazing of a friend I can be. Come out and play with Chucky now. You leave or I'll take the stuffing out of you. <laughs> you think you can stop me, honey, VC? I throw acid at him. Why would you throw acid at me, Nivisi? Because by the power of friendship, I've awakened and you are not my friend. Only we'll Chucky on that note. Now let's get into some non-horror type characters. Lady Dimitres. Yeah, she's not like a horror film, but she kind of slow before the end. I am Lady Dimitrescu. Mommy? Yes, I am, Mommy. Come closer, children. Oh, oh, she probably thinking I'm her kid. Oh, you're adorable. I could just pinch your cheeks and eat you alive. No, she really think I'm her child. So, uh, next. <laughs> now, Ghost, not Ghostface, but Ghost, he's really not like a horror, but like, he, he kind of gives some elements of like, no, he don't. Just wear a mask, like, like Jay said. So it, I feel like it's in the same wheelhouse. You spot Ghost in a bar, a little tired after a long day. He's sitting at the bar by himself, not talking to anyone in particular, just drinking, listening in on nearby conversations. Without realizing, 
You catch yourself staring curiously at him. He looks over at you, meeting your eyes and cocking his head to, oh. to the side a bit. So, I see you've been staring. Yeah, because your big head is in the way, duh. His voice is husky and deep. Oh, they are gonna try to hit me with a, he got a deep voice with an accent. It's impolite to stare, he says, taking another drink. I kind of followed it just now. I can imagine. He's at the bar, right? He got a cup, right? It's impolite. He got a little straw. It's impolite to stare at me. He's just, he looking at you. I wasn't even staring at you. He puts his glass down on the bar, leaning over slightly. My mistake. Who were you staring at then? First of all, he puts his glass down. So the glass is going to make that sound, right? And then imagine he kind of like adjusts himself. I'm, I'm trying to wave I'm over sweating. the bartender if you must know. Then by all means, allow me. Before you can protest, he's raised a hand up and has the bartender's attention. Can you get my friend here whatever she wants? Yo, he ripped me up! Let me get it out. This is social settings, right? And like ordering food and whatnot. Like, you know, a little social anxiety, right? He's like, oh, bartender, right? Yo, get my friend whatever she wants. <laughs> Molten Freddy, but you can call me Molten for short. What's your name? I'm Navisi, the new security guard. Why is there a human in the vents? Oh, I'm not a human. I'm an animatronic like Freddy. You never heard of the fun time animatronics? They're different from the others. They're made to take children and bring them to the scrapper, and you probably don't want to know what happens after that. No, please tell me. I would not do this in real life. In real life, I would have gotten up from my seat, I would have ran, I would have got home, and moved to another country. Oh, okay, I will. These animatronics have a little feature called the Ballora system. It's basically the fun times programming. When they are activated and the kids are being kidnapped, if a parent tries to stop it, the Ballora system will activate. This causes the fun times to go berserk and attack that person to defend the child. After that, Ballora's eyes turn red and the animatronic looks different. They look much more evil. Even the voice seems demonic. Is that why he's turning to evil? Let me out! I want to meet you and the others! Nah, like hell I would. <laughs> Let me out! I want to meet the others! I'm your friend, so I want you to let me out. I'm not. I'm a little scared, you guys. So I'm gonna get a holy water and I'm gonna turn him to uh, to to good, like to a good guy. Ah, yes, it burned. No, I did it. It's not fair. It hurts. But but I just want to be your friend. I promise I won't hurt you. Please, can I come out? He, he want to be like. I just want to be your friend. You was acting demonic. Help! Please! I'm burn! Burn! Burning! Molten's mechanical body sizzle, pop, and melt in the sunlight. And that's it! I had a plan, you guys. Like, I was gonna get my revenge regardless. So, guys, I'm gonna end off the video here. I hope you guys enjoyed the little horror that Ness we had going on. If you want a part two, let me know, and I got you guys. So, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Alright, bye.